Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days in five minutes. Weather in five brought to you by the folks at Omni True Value Hardware. And don't worry, they haven't run out of rock salt or any of the snow melt products or shovels or snow blowers. They got them all there. And well, after this snowstorm, uh, it's probably wise to be ready because looks like we might get some more come uh, Saturday night into the first part of Super Bowl Sunday, 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, 631-756-1125 is the website, Omni True is the phone number, the website is omnitruevalue.com, and they are a local business, which is very important, support your local businesses. So uh, let's take a look at what's going on today, and of course we do have winter weather going on in the Midwest where we have winter storm warnings and even some blizzard warnings in parts of Iowa, surrounded by a large area of winter weather advisories. On the other hand, finally, we have a day free of uh, snow here after seeing uh, snow falling uh, in some places five days in a row. Uh, well, that's all done. And now we are finally enjoying a break and we're going to have a fairly nice day uh, all the way around. Uh, we're looking at uh, some clouds around, but there is some sunshine too. You got to uh, be a little careful on the satellite right now because we have snow cover. So <clears throat> while it looks like it's cloudy over Long Island and southern New England and down into uh, northern Virginia, uh, that's actually the the high clouds you can see. Those are the ones that moving, but that are moving. But underneath uh, is the deep snow cover that is there. And of course, uh, you see the uh, next weather system. This is setting up. Uh, this a system for Saturday night and for Sunday that is moving to the east and it'll be pushing a cold front through here uh, during tomorrow so right now uh, the radar is quiet here in the east and you can see the snows that are uh, developing and moving through the uh, Midwest with the rain and some heavy rains down to the south and uh, parts of Illinois and Missouri that is all uh, pushing eastward and of course our storm system still in some form sitting out here in the gulf of st lawrence in the meantime high pressure just enough high pressure starting to build in now the pressure gradient still there but not like how it was so uh, things are relaxing it's a brief break because here's the next system and cold front that'll be coming in for friday so let's uh, look at what wpc this is the forecast <coughs> issued earlier today and we've seen Models undergo a bit of a change during the overnight, and now the new model cycle is beginning. <clears throat> we already have the new NAM, so we'll show that to you in a moment. Uh, but uh, they actually did increase precip amounts here to three quarters of an inch to an inch from New York City eastward, and a quarter to a half an inch down into North Carolina. I suspect we're going to see these numbers go up uh, if, uh, if if the other models follow the lead of the NAM, which has uh, uh, been out in front lately. Uh, as a uh, as performing very well, especially once we get inside the range of that model, which is 84 hours, uh, it worked very well with the last storm. So there's no reason to think why it won't work well uh, with the next one. So let's I want to take a look just quickly at the upper air here. Uh, there's been a, a change, and just rolling back. Uh, to our weather system from a couple of days ago and yesterday. And that, of course, the upper low just pulls out to the northeast. We get a little bit of a, a little upper ridge overhead. And now this next short wave that comes through for tomorrow really uh, doesn't produce too much. I think we may see a burst of, of snow uh, tomorrow morning in some places. Could whiten the ground up, then a couple of rain showers, and then it's done. And then as we move through the weekend, interestingly enough, uh, the uh, next short wave is coming down from the northern in the northern stream. There's one here, and then there's a southern stream feature that uh, we have from Kansas down into Texas. And the models have been uh, showing that we were going to basically just get overwhelmed with cold air, and this thing was going to get shoved out to the south. Well, a bit of a change. What's happened is that in the west, in the western part of the United States, we're seeing uh, pressures that are a little bit higher there. So that is, and it's been going higher with every run. So now suddenly this trough is a little bit sharper. And while they don't do a full phase, it's just enough so that you start to lift this up to the Northeast uh, come Saturday night into Sunday. And you actually can pick out a well-defined, that Southern feature is pretty well-defined here. And that really is going to be driving 
uh, the uh, what, the next uh, system uh, as it uh, develops uh, in off the southeast coast and then eventually works its way up toward the eastern seaboard. So this is a bit of a radical change over the last couple of runs. And we feel more comfortable maybe later today uh, if we start to see the next uh, the few runs of the NAM uh, come in the same way. Uh, the uh, GFS uh, has shift did uh, shift to this uh, stormier look for Sunday during the overnight run, and I got to even see the in-between European run, which brought precip back up here. So uh, I, I think we're going to see those models come along uh, in the same fashion. So here's our system for tomorrow. We get a couple of rain or snow showers. Temperatures will be into the 40s. Turns colder. We'll have some sunshine and arriving clouds on Saturday. And now here comes your system. Saturday evening, snow is already moving into western, uh, north northern Georgia, western North Carolina, western Virginia, and then expands northward up the coast by Sunday morning. Uh, it'll be snowing just about everywhere uh, from uh, northeast Virginia on up to southern New England. Here's how what it looks close up wise and then the low passing much closer to the coast on this run and then running on out to the northeast so i mean if i had to give an early guess given the fact that this is different from what we just experienced it's a fast mover so it's only going to be about eight to ten hours worth of snow i suppose if if uh, every flakes were to stick uh, we're looking at we would be looking at something on the order of three to six or four to eight i'm, I'm not sure yet uh, as far as uh uh, 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 an official forecast. I'm just kind of tossing numbers off the top of my head. But if this were to verify, that's the kind of system it would be. And then it just turns very cold after that because next week uh, we are going to be under the influence of a very cold northern jet that will be uh, dominating the pattern for much of next week and beyond. Uh, we're, we're going to see uh, cold air coming down and there'll probably be some storm chances in between uh, uh, cold air masses, but the uh, spigots from Canada seem to be open and open, and that some of that cold air is going to be here. So don't expect the snow cover to melt anytime soon once we put it on the ground. Well, so we have additional winter weather coverage on my weather platform on Patreon. That's patreon.com slash meteorologist Joe Chaffee. It's a su subscription platform, $2 a month. It's kind of how I earn my living these days, folks. So um, it, it, I appreciate the uh, all the support that I've gotten uh, from folks. So if you want to join, if weather's your thing, it's a drama-free environment. You're free from the nonsense on Rage Book, uh, and uh, it's much more relaxed. Patreon.com slash meteorologist Joe Chaffee. And uh, once again, uh, to remind everybody, Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware. They're ready if we get another round of accumulating snow this weekend. So uh, the, the, just be sure to... Uh, make sure you got everything you need for, for cleanup, uh, crews, uh, you need rock salt, you need the snow melt products, they have them there and plenty of it. 631-756-1125, omnitruevalue.com is the website, 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon. And if we do wind up getting snow, uh, they will be opened. And as soon as I know what their hours are, I will let you know. Have a great day, everybody. Joe and Joe show tonight at 7.30 Eastern time. So by then we'll have all the weather models and we'll be going through this line by line and letting you know what we think is going to happen.